On this episode of The Word Made Fresh, we are going to connect with creation, which is why I'm on a bike to go see the sunrise, to fly a drone, and uh, yeah, let's do this. Hi everyone, I'm Reverend Jim Keat, Digital Minister at the Riverside Church. This is The Word Made Fresh, the weekly video Bible study and sermon prep resource where we talk about an upcoming lectionary passage and all that stuff. This week's a little different. Uh, first, we're not talking about an upcoming lectionary passage, we're talking about the one from uh, Sunday, uh, March 1st, for two reasons. One, because it's really good and it's a good excuse to film the sunrise, and two, because it's a podcast episode that I already have edited, so I can just drop it in. So, uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly my drone, and you're gonna listen to Brian McLaren on this episode of Be Still and Go for this episode of The Word Made Fresh. Whoa, that's really meta. Okay, and then we'll uh, chat a bit at the end. So, enjoy. In the second creation story in Genesis, God puts humans in the Garden of Eden and says, You can eat of every tree except one. Eat that one, and you'll surely die. The conventional Christian reading of this story leads to doctrines like original sin, total depravity, the fall, and eternal conscious torment, ideas that never, ever would have come to the mind of any of the ancient people among whom this story originally arose. Many people today can't extract this ancient Jewish story from the many encrusted layers of Christian interpretation of it, and so they just throw it out as meaningless, worthless mythology. I understand their reaction, but I'd like to propose a less theological and more experiential and ecological understanding of this story. This is the story of humanity, beginning with naked hunter-gatherers living in harmony with the earth and its creatures. They enjoy the tree of life and all the trees of the garden, but they are warned. Like every other creature, they live within limits. If they allow their need to become greed, if they aspire to live not as human creatures but as little gods, if they reject any limit to their desires, they will no longer live in harmony with their environment and they will not survive. Our fellow creatures, the fish, for example, must live within the limits of their lake, river, reef, or ocean. Our fellow creatures, the trees, must live within the limits of the forest's fertile soil and the climate's available rainfall. Our fellow creatures, the bees, must live where they can construct their hive and find sufficient nectar. In the same way, we humans must live within our environmental limits and our social limits as well. If we take too much from the earth, or from our fellow human beings, we will suffer the consequences. It's not hard to think about how today, as individuals, nations, and civilizations, we humans are still tempted to play God, to act as if we have no limits, to take more than our fair share, to hoard more than we can use, to infringe upon the rights of our fellow humans and our fellow creatures. If we yield to that temptation, the story teaches us, our future will be bleak. Over the last few years, as I've become more aware of this interpretation of this story, I've developed what I call a practice of reconnection. As part of that practice, I take a few deep breaths. (sighs) 
as I feel my left lung fill with air. I think of the Amazon rainforest, and I abide in the awareness that part of every breath comes from the majestic trees there. As I feel my right lung fill with air, I think of the middle of the Pacific Ocean, and I abide in the awareness that part of every breath comes from the algae producing oxygen there. I think of my food in a similar way. I'm trying to resist conformity to this world that has forgotten the wisdom of this primal story. I seek to re-inhabit my space as a creature in God's beautiful, balanced garden. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that uh, drone footage. It was pretty cool. And what did you think of the podcast episode? You can listen to all of them on our website at trcnyc.org slash go, or you can search for Beast and Go in your favorite podcast app. This episode comes out Tuesday, March 3rd. So if you're watching this like today when we release this video, you get a little sneak preview. Otherwise, you should go back and listen to the audio version while you do dishes or something. And question for you before we go. What does it mean for you to re-inhabit your space in this garden? Garden. Talk about that in the comments below, and uh, we'll be back next week with another video. Probably won't be a drone footage again because that's just boring to do it twice in a row, right? Well, maybe it wouldn't be. We'll see. Okay, next week we'll be back. More of this. See you online. Go download, subscribe, be still and go, all that stuff. Okay, bye.